Hi guys, so today we're going to be looking at the lightsaber effect um, and how to do it in Adobe After Effects CS, um, CS 5.5. Um, this will work for all versions and this will probably work for Final Cut Pro if you know how to use it. I really don't know how to use it and since I'm a PC user. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so I just basically Google searched imaged uh, for a prop because I don't really own one, but I still wanted to make the tutorial, so uh, it'll work. Um, okay, so the first thing we're going to be doing is making the lightsaber animate, and then we're going to be making it glow, and then we're going to be adding the color. Okay, so let's start. Okay, we're going to go layer, new, solid, and make it all white. We want it all white. Then we are going to turn it off for a second. And we're going to zoom in on it, zoom in on the prop, and we're going to draw a mask around it. No, that's not really good. Get your mouse tool, fix it a little bit. Now obviously, Colbert's finger's in the way, and I can mask that out, but I'm not going to be that precise for this tutorial. Maybe you're, because obviously your fingers won't be touching the blade if you know Star Wars like that. And if you know, if you touch laser, you'll cut your hand off or whatever. Lasers aren't real. Um, so here we go. We have that. Um, and it's just basically a big white stick, kind of, for now. Um, okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to be animating it. So we're going to click on white solid, and you can press MM as the short key and we're gonna click on the keyframe mask path zoom out a little and we're gonna go ahead about one frame now this is what you want to do actually in your video you want to go ahead one frame and wherever the lightsaber is you want to keyframe it to go to that position uh, you can even be a little more precise if you go ahead maybe like a half frame and edit it but that will take a lot of amount of time so click on the screen first and then you can drag points individually uh, sorry okay and then you go to the second frame and then move the points third frame and move it a final time there we go so if you move a uh, move your thing around, it uh it looks like it's moving. Obviously, in your video, it will probably look better than this since it's a still image and not an actual footage. Okay, so next thing we're gonna be doing is uh giving it giving it uh, the glow. So now we now that we have our keyframes and stuff, I'm gonna get rid of the footage because we're not gonna be using that for a sec make things easier we're gonna go, we're gonna duplicate it five times so we're gonna duplicate it we're gonna press control D about four times to get five copies now the first one we're gonna press MM go to mask feather and change the pixels t the first one to 10 we're gonna make the second one the second mask feather uh, 20 excuse me uh, and the third one, we're going to make 40. Now, as you can see, I'm doubling it every time. Mask 2, MM, uh, let's see, wait, I lost track, sorry. 40, okay, so that means this one is 80. And then the last one will be 160. And then you'll have this glow. If you move around, glows. And yeah, looks pretty good. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to make a new composition. Okay. We're going to take the first comp, um, which is. Uh, wait, you're going you're gonna to take your uh, the lightsaber comp. And we're going to bring it in. We're going to bring the footage. We're going to put it under it. Now I'm going to have to scale it up to the exact way it was before to get it right. 
you may have this problem if you enter your foot into your footage um it you know what it's better off to instead of starting off with a new composition just import your footage so you won't have this problem i have uh whatever it doesn't really matter that much just gets a fit okay so now that you have it all together now in one thing we'll go to the first comp go into here and we're gonna go to layer new solid and we're gonna make it black all black okay and then we're gonna drop it down to the bottom and then we're gonna go to the second comp click on comp one first we're gonna switch to blending mode to screen and then what we're gonna do is we're going to click on effect color correction color balance and reserve luminosity and then say I want a red blade increase that to 100 increase that 100 and you can see it's getting a red really red or oh, I want zero, 0 I want a blue I just want it really blue I want more of a natural blue. You know, you you can just edit the settings the way you want it, and uh, it should come out looking pretty good, depending on how how precise your keyframes came out, and you know, it, that all depends on this stuff. Um. So yeah, that's basically how you do the uh, lightsaber effect in After Effects. Now there is Andrew Kramer's way. I didn't exactly download that preset for his, um, but it's basically you just uh, you put the thing in. It just it has a preloaded laser, and you can just work with that. But I honestly don't like that because you don't it doesn't get mm, mm, uh, you can't really get it exactly the way you want it. This way is a little more um, specific to me. I I, I kind of prefer this way. By the way, you um it's it's I, I prefer rotoscaping over that. You're basically rotoing it anyway if you have the other uh if you have Andrew Kramer's preset. But yeah, thanks for watching. Um let me know in the comments if you have any problems. Uh like this video if it helped. Um that that helps a lot. And uh show your love by subscribing. Thanks for watching. Peace off.